Hi, welcome back to another video about Spice. As I promised, in this video, I will show you how to find the free BSIM model, BSIM3 model in the internet, how to import it into Spice, and we will do a simple simulation to test our, our model. For the link where to download this BSIM3 model, I will put it in the video description. Please check it out. Now we will start to download the model itself to uh, know how to import it into our LT Spice. After you download it, we will extract it. And then we go into the extracted folder. We will see that there's a model card. And then we will use any text software reading. And we open it. I use Notepad++. When you open the file, you will see there are two models. One model for NMOS and the other model for PMOS. In our case, I will be only interested in the NMOS model. So we will we will start to import this model into our LT Spice. And this is the LT Spice where I already prepared in order to plot the very common plot of a MOSFET, which is the current versus the drain source voltage varies with the gate source voltage. So the gate source voltage is over here. This is the various gate source voltage and this is the various drain source voltage. Now we will start to import our model into our LT Spice. If you want to know more about the detailed steps, how to plot the parametric plot ID versus VDS, please refer to my video. I also put that video into the video description. In this case, I will just test out the uh, BSIM3 model, the NMOS that we just downloaded. Now we will start to find the uh, symbol for our model. And the symbol that we will need to find is the NMOS4. We must use NMOS4. We cannot use NMOS. We need to use NMOS4. If you want to import PMOS, please also please use the PMOS4. In our case, we would start to do the test with NMOS4. And then we will connect the source to the bulk in order to avoid the uh, source bulk effect. If you want to know about the source bulk effect, please also prefer to my previous video. I put that video in the video description to check out some references that I put for the knowledge about the physics of the NMOS. Okay, after we already import our NMOS, not yet, we only create a symbol. Now we will import our model. We will go to this dot op, or we can say spice directive. There are two ways to open it, but I'm not going to say it more. Please refer to my previous video. And after we open the spice directive, we will go back to the download, I think, over here. The folder that we extracted, we go to the model card, we open in the uh, text editor reading software, we will copy this one, control C to copy, we go back to our edit spice and then we control V to paste the information and you click OK. So now our model is here, but the model card is not linked to our symbol yet. We need to do one more thing, as you can see the model goes with the name N1. So we need to change the name of our symbol to N1 in order to make them link together. So now we link our symbol to the content of our symbol. This is the BSIM3 MOSFET model to our symbol. And uh, in order to know more about the definition of those parameters, we can go back to the extracted folder, the BSIM. We go to code. We should extract this folder also, and we go inside. We look for b3.c. .c means it's a C file code. So it's just my opinion, my guess. Maybe after we run this code, what we obtain will be the model card. But somehow in this folder, they already provide the model card, so we can just import it. But um, here, this is everything, the definition of our parameters in the model, you can see. And 
we want in our simple test I want to plot the parametric plot I current versus the trends of voltage again so I need to know the what the parameters represents my initial threshold voltage so that's why I need to go to this file b3.c and then control F so I could find I want to find my threshold voltage let me try again I cannot find the threshold that's weird now control F again threshold Oh, I cannot find it. Why? Okay, Control F. Maybe I will uncheck this one and then I find it. Yes, it's true. When I uncheck the backward direction, I can find it again. So this is my threshold voltage and the parameters is VTH0. So I'll go back to my model. I will see this is my VTH0. It starts from dot 6 it means 0 0.6 volt so for my um, VB it just parameters represents the gate voltage so if I start from let's say 0 0.5 with a step of 0 0.1 and the sub value is 1 uh, let's see what what will we see we'll run and we want to see the uh, current this is our current and we will see the legend so you can see point 5 is the green point 6 is also the blue oh sorry point 6 is the blue and point 5 is the green both of them totally zero only when the gate voltage is point 7 then we start to see the current why because the threshold voltage is point 6 something bigger than point 6 so when it's only by 6 the mod doesn't conduct the current but when the gate voltage is by 7 or bigger than by 7 then the end mod starts to conduct that's why we can see the current over here let's remember this result and we can try the mods where we don't when we don't connect the symbol to the model card I will maybe make a copy sorry please remember this result and we will compare copy I think is here yeah I just need to copy this one and we new new schematic And then we did it. This symbol, we did it, everything. We will import the very default and MOS. So now this is the default model. And then we run the simulation. Now let's see the result. Sorry, I need to measure the current. You can see there's no change in the gate voltage it still starts from 0 0.5 to 1 with a step of 0 0.1 but at 0 0.5 we already see the mod conducts the current which is totally different from the model that we the BC model that we import from the internet so it shows one thing that the step that we import the BC model from the internet into Edispy somehow correct so this is the end of the video. If you find that it's useful, helpful, please give me a like or subscribe. Or if you find something wrong, please also give me a comment in the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.